Construction projects and infrastructure development have since long been recognized as trusted methods of ramping up economic growth. Big infrastructure projects like the Jaiwar Airport in Uttar Pradesh employ millions, boosts related industries in the region and, of course, adds up to travellers' comfort. One similar project was also being planned for Kolkata, but it seems that the project will not see the light of the day to sheer politicization. I welcome you are watching TFI English, the national socio-political arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Apurva and in this video I will tell you how Mamta sacrificed Kolkata's upcoming airport at the altar of her political ambitions. Let's begin. Cooperative federalism is at the root of Indian development. The centre comes up with the big ticket infrastructure projects, but they cannot materialise unless the state government is ready to provide all necessary support, including land acquisition. Take the case of a second airport at Kolkata too. Minister of Civil Aviation Jyoti Raditya Sindhya says that the centre was interested in such project, but it got stuck due to a lack of cooperation from the West Bengal government. Sindhya said that the centre was waiting for important clearances from the West Bengal government and made an appeal to CM Mamta Banerjee to extend a helping hand. The union minister said, In any country, civil aviation has become the roots of development. We have big plans for the civil aviation industry in West Bengal. But I want to say on record that we want to set up a new airport in Kolkata. The existing airport in the city is running at maximum capacity. For so many years, we have been sending proposals to the state government for a new site to set up a new airport. But the state government so far has not taken any concrete step in this regard. How will the Airport Authority of India set up an airport if the land is not given? The Union Minister also said that we absolutely feel that a new airport must be set up in Kolkata, which should be of 2 lakh square meter. The existing airport has a capacity to handle 8,600 peak passengers' traffic per day. We feel that the new airport terminal should have the capacity to handle 10,000 to 11,000 peak passengers' traffic per day. But it will only be possible when the state government will cooperate with us and work together. Be it Bagdogra Airport or any other project at Hashimara Air Force Station or Kalaikunda Air Force Station, we get no response from the state government for any kind of clearances. I would appeal to the Chief Minister of the state to extend her helping hand to implement these development projects. Taking a dig at the West Bengal CM, Sindhya said, as far as Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee is concerned, who has called this a zero budget, I have already said that investment worth more than Rs 1.5 lakh crores has been provided to the state for the next three years. Now, she must count how many zeros there are in that amount. Meanwhile, the West Bengal Chief Minister has said that we are not going to forcibly acquire 1,000 acres for setting up the airport. It would mean raising a row of buildings and evicting settlements. Responding to Sindhya's remarks, CM Mamta Banerjee added, We have arranged for a third runway at Kolkata Airport. We have set up an airport at Andal. The airports in the district are also in place. Let them arrange for more flights there. The second Kolkata airport was originally proposed around 30 km away from city. The West Bengal government had even conducted a survey, after which Bhangar in South 24 Paragnas adjacent to Rajarhat was chosen as a possible location for the project. But the issue is that Bhangar has undergone rapid urbanization and large-scale displacement would be needed to acquire land there. The government also faced stiff resistance from the locals in 2017 when giving the right of way to Bhangar power grid project. Now, it seems that a second Kolkata airport terminal may not see the light of day because of the political issues and the resistance of the state government to acquire land and give the necessary clearances. This is hardly the first time that infrastructure development has taken a hit due to the politicization of land acquisition. In 2015, the Modi government had tried to change the land acquisition law in the country because the 2013 land acquisition legislation made the process of acquiring land for development projects a tedious task. However, the opposition coalesced in the parliament and effectively vetoed the government's plan to simplify the country's land acquisition laws. The second Kolkata airport also seems to be going down the same road, with the same old story of a big-ticket infrastructure project getting sacrificed for political reasons.